Right, it's the end of the league season. First up, who finished the league season are the under 23s. So that's here today at the Memorial Ground. It's Wednesday night. Um, these boys actually can win the league mathematically. It's going to take a bit of hope. Um, they need to probably score five, six, maybe seven goals tonight uh, in order to be in a goal difference position that can win them the league on Monday when Wharton Hersham under 23s play. But they could win the league. And then on to Saturday, first team play in the last league game here at the Memorial Ground against Collier's Wood, hoping to have a, a, another great crowd for that game. It's been an unbelievable season. It's been such a learning curve. It's been great to, to be involved in an incredible club and learn as, we, as we've gone. Um, and it feels quite nice to be rounding it all off on a positive manner, both from an under 23 point of view and from a first team point of view. And uh, let's see how these boys get on and then we'll roll straight into Saturday. <laughs> I doubt the season's over, but the boys put in a real strong performance today. Yeah, um, difficult one. Um, you know, boys had to get up for it. Really tough test after Saturday, you know, so the boys showed character tonight. How proud are you of, of your boys and their performance over the course of the season? Um, I think I came to Farnham this year with one child. I think I'm leaving with 26, 27, right? That's how I feel. Um, the development opportunities, we've got guys who have turned 16 in October this year and now played 8 to 10 games at under 23 suburban level which is a great progression but not only have they done that they've held their own they're looking to go again they're hungry to go again and you know ideally then yeah. you know we get the opportunity to you know no matter what happens we're going to finish yeah. either top of the league or yeah. joint top and the only thing that's going to finish us is is goal difference right and it's it'll be a tough one to take but hopefully it'll make us stronger for next year well the boys i think put in a performance to be proud of tonight and you know we'll all eyes on monday to see if if Fort and Hershey maybe slip up that's um, well. but if they do i'm sure you boys will be celebrating but well no. done tonight and well done this season no mate. thank you very much i appreciate it thank you cheers Final league game of the season. It's a home to Collier's Wood in front of the stand. Whether or not we get a good attendance today is uh, by the by. Average weather. It's got a bit gloomy. It started off really nicely today, but it's got a bit gloomy. Um, but looking forward to it nonetheless. It's been a brilliant season. We've learned so much. So much has happened. Thank you to all the volunteers. Everyone has helped kind of put everything together for us and, and the team management. Like, it's been an absolute pleasure to be involved with this year. And we've managed to achieve loads and loads of things, but hopefully we can crown it all off with the 10th unbeaten game in a row. 10 games unbeaten to finish the season. Going into a cup semi-final, potentially a final here at the Memorial Ground would be amazing. But let's see how we do against colleagues at home. Food bank donations to get in. One pound entry if you can donate with the food bank. Let's see what happens. You all right? How are you, mate? You all right? <laughs> I don't want to go in. Oh, it's not bad. It's a little bit oh, of a right. You're right, you're right, guys. Come, right. mate. Are you ready? Yeah. You go first. Yeah. You can share it. You can share it. Very nervous. No, I was not. 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 I was
don't know if you've got a shirt. Oh, exactly. That is something. Have you seen the shoes as well? Get shoes there. Shoes, shoes are worldly, mate. Shoes are worldly. <laughs> got football boots, mate. You'll switch them on. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, there's some rust up! Get them on, boys! Oh, pitch sparkle, look! Oi, that's not you! Pitch sparkle, look! At least you're a news me, this is. Oh my god, hit of the day! Jesus, you're gonna look like a sign out of screen! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's how I want Mr. Tumble! Mr. Tumble, Mr. Tumble! Thank you! Back it on, Jack. Oh, my God. I can trouser stuff like this. That's what I like to call Come on, Jack. Come on, oh, my God. The green trousers. <laughs> Single man, reveal yourself. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What a turn. Beautiful. I'm betting you a copper jersey. Great. <laughs> you actually like it. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. When he come out, he's like he got a new suit I'm, on. He was like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out how I can make it look better. Like, Just keep no, touching. No, it. I don't think you can, mate. <laughs> the shoes are absolute Jack. mustard, mate. I tell you. Yeah, more that number. Oh no. Hold on, Jack. I like the fact the jacket doesn't really fit. Lock the shoes up. <laughs> we, we, we didn't talk. We didn't talk to each other what we're buying. And it's just. How's that for an outfit? Do you know what? I actually think. I, actually, I thought it was really worse. Yeah. And we wanted to dress him like, yeah, like he actually wears those clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Done well. Imagine. Look at you. Howdy. Look at these, oh, mate. <laughs> they are. Need having slugs tonight. Last game at home in the league. Uh, yeah, everyone's buzzing. It's got a good feel to it. Um, just hopefully we back it up. Yeah, overall, yeah, yeah, finished it really well. Um, I think when we come in, it, it was a big, it was a big ask with what was um, what was here. Um, but yeah, it's taken a little bit of time. But um, hopefully, it's the start of a successful period for the club. <laughs> Trying to vote. Can you answer questions to that? <laughs> Yeah, it's been a real enjoyable time since obviously November when we took in, took over um, and there's hopefully today we can end it on a high. No, I think as we said, it, it took a little bit of time when we first arrived um, and, and we did say to, to, to the guys on the sideline and obviously the boys that we had, it's going to take a little bit of time to understand them, understand their characters, their abilities, etc. And I think we've just about sort of got it right to where we are now. And then, um, you know, good pre-season with a couple of additions and we're ready to go again. But no, at the minute, it's been thoroughly enjoyed it um, and looking forward to next year. Watched them, uh, watched them against Fleet last week. Um, good side, good side, uh, lively up top. Um, a few weaknesses that we've sort of picked up on and hopefully we can exploit that today. How's your knee? Oh yeah, no, that's great. That's not great. Oh, Nathan said, I, can't, I can never remember the name of it, it's the ligament down the side. But apparently, well, that's... Um, Head. So yeah, four to six weeks. He's still swollen. He was still, still swollen now. Yeah, still swollen. But the icing does set it down a bit. But yeah, about another four to five weeks out now. Already mm -hmm. had three weeks out, but so about eight weeks in total. Not great. Should definitely be sorted by August by America. So hopefully, I hope I aim to be back about mid-May, mid-May, June, and then get back into pre-season and get fit again and get ready to go out to the states. Jungle, jungle. Good breath. Farnham Squirty Bottles, brought to you by Net World Sports. Farnham welcomed the visit of Collier's Wood in their final league game of the 2022-2023 season. The Wood started well, knocking the ball around nicely, before Pat Nash was quick to deny them from opening the scoring. The young goalkeeper continuing his brilliant form since joining Farnham. He was helpless to stop the following attack though. Collier's wood striker Will Kendall smashing one in off the post. Farnham had to wake up. <laughs> Jamal Edwards did his best to bring the town level, but they had to settle for a corner. That corner came in, but Anne Jarjar was unable to convert. Inform winger Lamin Cisse beating his man well, but the towering keeper was more than a match to his cross. Oh, 
Edwards then went close again, beating his man down the channel before putting the ball across goal. Flatman not there. Well defended by the visitors. Collier's Wood had a lot of possession in the first half, but we're restricted to shots from distance that aren't going to trouble Pat Nash. Lewis Flatman then got into the game, playing this brilliant pass to Max Meaton, who couldn't quite add a collector's item goal. But he did get that moments later, and Bele's corner was flicked on by Flatman before being headed home by Meaton. Town, level. Teams went in level at the break, 1-1. One, one. You've, waste, you've wasted 35 minutes. Yeah, you've wasted 35 minutes and no one's sorting it out. It, nothing has changed from the game before and the game before that. That's our setup on the corners. Look at your jobs. Is that how we're attacking? Is that how we're attacking? Is, are we doing our jobs? Are we doing our jobs? No, people just doing their own thing. And it's going to cost you. It is going to cost you. Individually, it's going to cost you. Telling you, ain't f***ing hard to look at your name and see where you are, is it? And then the long f***ing throw, the goalkeepers caught the ball there. Caught the f***ing ball there on a long throw. No one around him. Because there's no f***ing desire or there's no oomph to go and f***ing attack the ball. Draw a line under that. Yeah, go, go back out. Half out, 45 minutes, yeah, it's sorted out. But barring that, it got better last 10. And I expect it to f*** up again and we crank it up. Yeah, and we forget about that, and we have a real good 45 minutes, because it's there to be taken now. They're going to get tired. Yeah, they're going to get tired. And I expect us to drive on, and I want people talking, and I want to see body language, or we're going to go and win the game. Not go out there thinking, oh, motions, it's the last game of the season. I f***ing want it won. I want the game won, and you should want it f***ing won. Yeah, and then we can enjoy tonight. Don't sit here at the end of the game thinking, I could have done a little bit more. Don't ever feel like that, yeah? Leave it all out there. Got it? Yeah, yeah come in. Oi, body language when we get back out. I want it spot on. But yeah, exactly, boys. Come on, very flat, boys. Come on. Get yourselves going. Max Meaton then hit this left footed effort, which sailed past the post. Edwards then tried to add a goal for his head but was unable to apply the finish. Collier's Wood then had the best chance of the second half on the break, hitting the post before messing up the rebound. Real let off for the town. This brilliant tackle by Ange looked to save a point for the town. In truth, the game felt like an end of season affair and a point was probably fair. The town move on to play Virginia Water in the Southern Combination Cup semi-final on Friday night. If they win that, they'll face Ballam in a cup final at the Memorial Ground. quite done yet yeah Friday night which is a difficult game uh, Friday night they're better Virginia Water a lot better at popping it about so you've got game on so just a little reminder yeah that you ain't turning up thinking you're winning the game yeah because they're not bad but on reflection thank god that game's done it was poor yeah it was, it was real poor no no quality in it but well done for ending the season unbeaten on the 10 games whatever it be yeah so take that as a positive and we use that I've got no more to say. I think it's time to you to have a reflection on yourselves, yeah? Just on, on that performance of, you know, you, you can't go around kicking a ball. Yeah, some of it is real bad. So I think it's time for you to have a reflection and I'll leave it at that. But well done.
Good, Good boys. Well, here we go again. Friday we go, yeah. We'll enjoy tonight and then Friday's big. Right then, the league season is over. Uh, what do you make of today's performance? Um, yeah, not not very good. Um, end of season game, last 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 game of the season. Um, I think the only positive is that there's a pound to get in. Yeah. Um, so well done on the club. Well, I know the league season is over. We still have a cup semi-final next week at home against Virginia Water. It's going to be a good one on Friday night. Yeah, massively. The boys, you know, they don't take really any getting up for. They could get the semi-final gets you up for yourself. It's uh, I think they got you know they got to look assessed today. Uh, I think John mentioned it after after the game at the end there. They need to get themselves up for that. And uh, and it's you know we could end the season on a real with a bit of silver. It'd be lovely. Yeah, well, you know, that sort of rounds off today's game. We'll finish up with the, the awards now inside, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one, well done. Cheers, cheers. So, another great attendance. Wasn't sure what to expect with clouds overhead. Um, it was a pretty poor game, to be honest, but it was dead rubber, end of the season. Two teams who aren't really playing for anything. 1-1 one, one draw probably flattered us, if I'm honest. But moving on now, um, we're just about to go into, into the garden in the clubhouse area for the end of season awards for the under 18s, under 23s, and also the first team. Um, amazingly sponsored by the guys at uh, Cova's Aldershot. Um, so thank you so much for, for the sponsorship of the awards. I know you did it last year, so thank you so much um, for covering and sponsoring this season too. A huge amount of accolades can go to everyone on and off the pitch. Um, and yeah, very exciting to be able to uh, award some of those people um, both on and off the pitch uh, in, in, some, in some way during the awards. So uh, thank you again to, to Cova's and uh, let's see who picks up those end of season awards. A uh, little presentation evening this evening uh, to give credit to a lot of people who have done a lot of work in the club on and off the field. It's for uh, the most developed player. So, this is a big one for me because we have a lot of 15 and 16 year olds in the squad. For me, a leader already, he's been captain this year uh, on certain periods of, of games, so for me, it's Joe Bullock. He ain't 15! Take his passport! He's not 15! And yes, I know he's already a captain. Isn't he? Okay, last one is for managers player. So, um, and for me, the player who's progressed the most in that sense, uh, and very well deserved, is Toby Snell. First trophy of the year, we're going to go for Golden Boot. Golden Boot this year, 19 goals, um, which is pretty good. Um, Toby Snell. Okay, players player, 24 votes, 16 votes. Wow. Unbelievable. Um, Shane. Oh, well done, Shane. Shane is a good Manager's player of the year, Shane. Yeah. Yeah. And this is development player of the year playing regular under 23 s football, has got a great future in football, his attitude is phenomenal, uh, but also what he does in the whole game is really great. So, mm -hmm. development player of the year, Tony Sherman. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Rachel, who's done a, a lot of hard work, working in the bar area. Make sure that everyone is aware that something like Peter Smith, the hours. 
This one's, um, as a player, this one guarantees you to be here next year. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't turn it down. So, I'll leave it at this. Our, our manager's player, myself and Jim, is uh, Richie Mbele. Oh! So you pick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'll take it, that vote now individually between you and me and say probably the volley, not the halfway line. Banstead away. Banstead away. Yeah. You yeah. tell me, I've got to remember. Stop boosting his many. ego. Gold boot. <laughs> Another achievement when oh, you're playing shit. up top. That's always something that you want to get. Uh, at any level of football, it shows your quality in front of goal. Keep it short and sweet. Sam's well done. And that's it. That's the end of the season in the league. Next week, semi-final week, cup back here for what could be a really exciting night for the club really. Um, semi-final probably not something we expected to be in at the start of the season um, when we were looking at our plans. Obviously the league was the focus, that didn't go to plan at the start of the season so we started to switch our attention to the Cups in the semi-final. Let's see what happens, could be a great occasion on a Friday night, you rarely get Friday night games in, in non-league so come on down to the Memorial Grounds, come and support the boys um, and hopefully get us into a Cup final. Do check out, we'll leave it in a link in the description, um, our end of season montage that Jack behind the camera has put an incredible thing together which kind of shows what the whole season has been like so we'll put it in the top comments down below but also if you're watching this and you're not subscribed 
If you're not subscribed, which is about 70% of people that watch this every single week and aren't subscribed, please drop a subscribe. It makes a big difference to us from a commercial point of view going forward into the off season. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Please come down to the Memorial Grounds and we will see you for a cup semi-final and hopefully final.